Today I have such an awesome navigation header that I just have to show you guys. Right over here you can see how this is giving a whole blurry effect and as I'm moving the mouse you can see this really cool mouse hover glow effect happening as well. Now this can actually fit on any sort of website. So over here you can see it's pretty colorful in that and you can see the blur happening in real time. If I go over to a white page you can see how this is looking pretty nice and fitting over here as well. It really is a cool header and you can see how the mouse glowing just works on everything. And it really does work on other elements and widgets as well. So if we scroll down just a little bit, you can see how it's blurring out the widget underneath. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'm also going to show you how to change the color and the intensity of this glow so you can really customize it to fit your website. If you want to download the complete template for this tutorial, I do have the section in my website. You will find a link of the exact template in the description of this video. It will take you to the complete template download. You can just go download that template. Once you've downloaded the zip file, all you have to do is open it. Inside, you're gonna find the actual template and this PDF of how to install it as well. All we have to do is unzip this template, so we just drag it across. And then inside the WordPress website, you'd go into templates, you go into theme builder, and here we insert in the headers, so we just click on the headers. We can say add new, and then you'll be inside the Elementor page builder. Here, if you don't have this library pop-up appear automatically, then you can find it here and add templates icon. And what we're going to do is say import up over here. Then that exact template file, we just click and drag it across and then it'll upload. It's going to give you this warning, which is fine. It's standard for all templates, just say continue. And now you can go and select the template that you've downloaded and just say insert and it'll do everything for you. This isn't hard to do, so let me go show you how to make it. So here in the back end of your WordPress website, we're gonna be using Elementor for this, of course and we are going to be using the theme builder. So we go into templates and we choose theme builder. Over here we have the option that we can either click on this plus sign directly, or if you go into the header section, you just go right up to the top right over here and you just say add new. Here on this new screen, we can just close this out because we're gonna custom build this obviously. And then let's just start this off. The first thing we're definitely gonna need for this is we're gonna need the navigation menu over here. If you don't have it open, it's just this button over here that says structure. And let's go and start off with our first container. So here I'm gonna take this container and just drop it off. Okay, so for the settings of this container, it's not really much that we have to do. We are gonna keep this to box because the inner container over here, you can see this is the one that's gonna be the actual navigation header. So we just keep it as boxed. Then in the gaps over here, we are gonna change this from PX to rem, and we're gonna say that this is two. Then under advanced, we're going to unlink these values and I'm going to give a bottom margin of minus 120. And the reason for that is because this is going to be transparent, we don't want to have that white spacing. So we're just going to have the page fit right underneath it. Okay, so now that we have the bottom margin of 120 pixels, the padding, we are going to set this to zero. The next thing we're going to do is if we go down to motion effects, we're going to make this sticky on the top. So we just say top and we're pretty much good to go there. So now we're done with that, we're going to add an inner container and that's going to be the actual navigation header. So now we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to take this container and we can just drop it in. So now before we continue on the right hand side, let's start naming these things so we can keep track of it for later. So for this first container, I'm going to double click and I'm going to call this the header section. And then for the inner container, I'm just going to call this the header. So now we're done with that. Let's carry on with the settings of this container. Now for the content width, we want to make sure it's full width. We want to make sure that it's at hundred percent and everything else we can pretty much leave as is. If we scroll down to additional options, over here we're gonna say that the overflow is hidden. You don't want the mouse effect to go off away from the header. So the next thing we're doing is we're gonna go to style. For the background type, you can just leave it completely empty or you can add just a slight tint. This is going to be visible in the front end, but it's more like just gonna be the edges of the container. So if I go over here, so you can see the edging over here is what the color of this container is gonna be. You do want it as transparent as possible because we are overlaying colors on top of this. But here in this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it empty. Then for the border shape, I wanna have a border radius of about 50. And then we're gonna go into advanced. Now over here in advanced, we are going to unlink this. And the top and bottom, we're gonna give a bit of margin. So on the top, we just want about a 10 pixel and that on the bottom. This is gonna give a little bit of space over here just to get away from the top of the page. Okay, so now we have the margin all set up like that. Now in the padding, we are just gonna give a padding of three pixels. And this in essence is going to be creating that border. So as you can see the border around here, that is what that three pixels is for. If you don't want the border, you just put it to zero. 
if you want a thicker border then you just add more pixels there into the padding over here for this header container but i think that three pixels is more than enough for the actual navigation header now one of the final things for this container is we're going to give it a class name the class name that i'm going over here with is reboot header now that we're done with that now that we're done with that we are going to come back to this container we are going to be putting in some custom css over here it's going to be easier to work with the stuff that's going to be inside here while that css isn't in place so what we're going to be adding to this container is three different inner containers into this one i know there's a lot of containers going on over here but they all have a purpose so we're going to click on this plus sign we're going to go and take container and we're going to put it in and we're going to let go then what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this Till there's three inside here the whole reason for all these is this first one is where we're going to actually put the content the second container is going to be the whole glowing effect and the third one we need to control the glowing effect so let's go and rename the three containers before we go and change all the settings of these so this first one i'm going to double click and i'm going to say this is the content the second one is going to be the glow and then the third one i'm going to call this fake glow so now that we've renamed these let's start off with the fake glow one over here, we're not going to change too many settings, but what we are going to be doing is if we go to style, we're going to go into the border and we're going to give this a border radius of 50. And then if we go to advanced, we are going to change the position of this. So here under position, we're going to say that this is absolute. And then one of the final things for this container is we're going to have to give it a CSS class name. And the name I'm going with is reboot fake glow. Okay, and that's everything that we need for this container. So the next container we're going to change settings for is this glowing one we don't have to do anything to the layout but we are going to go to style and we're going to give a color to our glow so over here if we just click on the classic and you can go and choose a color so right now in this tutorial let me just go with a red one now that i've chosen the color i'm going to go down to border and i'm also going to give this a radius of 50. if you ever want to change the actual glow color this is it this is the one that you do so here you go to background and you just change the color of whatever glow color that you're looking for now we've got that out the way we just head over to advanced and we're just going to change a couple things over here so this one we also need to change this position so we're going to change it from default to absolute and then these numbers over here it does say zero we need to take the zero out so we're going to just go and delete these two zeros over here and then if we go down just a little bit more under the css classes we are going to give this a class name as well and the name that i'm going with in this tutorial is going to be reboot glow don't worry we're almost there now we've done with this container let's go and take care of our content container so over here let's click on that now for the settings of the container we don't have to change anything over here because it is full width already then under the direction i'm going to go horizontal because i want the logo on one side and i want the menu on the other the gaps i'm going to change to rim and i'm just going to say that this is one then under style this is where we're going to actually add the color to this navigation header so over here i'm going to choose on classic I'm going to choose a very light white the lighter the better so it can be more transparent but we do need to make this as transparent as possible so i'm just going to slide this down to about over here it's about 25 30 percent or you can click on this rgba and then you can just see exactly what type of percentage you have so over here i'm just going to copy this exact color i'm going to take it over to hover and i'm going to give the same color under hover now this is important because we don't want to change the color as the glow comes in we have to set both of these to that exact color once we're done with that i'm also going to give this a border radius so we go to border and i'm going to say that this one is 50 as well then we're going to go to advanced over here we're going to give a padding of zero the position we don't have to change at all but we are going to give it a class name this is the final class name to this tutorial so all we have to do is click on this class name and i'm going to call it reboot content and that is it for the settings of this container now let's actually add all the good stuff so now i'm going to add two containers into this content you don't have to add these containers they're not important it's just the way that i like doing this so if you want to put just the logo and the menu you can do that as well but for me over here i'm going to actually put them into inner containers so i'm going to go click on the plus sign i'm going to take a container put it in and let go now if it falls into the wrong place no problem we just open up the content one and we drag it across until it's in the right place and then over there i'm going to duplicate this so now i have the two containers the one's going to be for the logo and the one's going to be for the navigation so for the settings of these we don't really have to do too much 
So over here, for the width, I'm going to put this down to about a 20%. And this is the one that's going to be for the logo. And then for the settings of the other one, we can just leave it alone. Or we can actually say that it's 80%. If yours does go down a little bit, then just change this to 79 and it should be fine as well. Now I'm going to open up these containers over here because we're going to put in the logo and we're going to put in a navigation. If you want to use a logo widget over here, then that's fine. You can just put the logo widget in. I'm going to be using an image. I'm going to put it into there. I'm going to let go. If it's in the fake wrong place, just click and drag it into the right container. Then just choose the logo, say select. And I'm just going to change its style under height i'm just going to say that this is 50. if i want to link this image just like the logo widget then under content this link you can go and put in your custom link so if you click on this dynamic tags you can just say site url and it'll work just like that whole site logo widget then the other thing i'm going to add over here is the actual navigation so i'm going to click on this plus sign i'm going to look for the navigation there it is the wordpress menu drag it over let go if it's in the wrong place put it into the correct container and I'm just going to change a few things over here. I do like having my menus on the right hand side. So over here, I'm just going to say end and then I'm going to change a few things over here. These type of pointers, I'm going to leave alone. Then under style, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text color to white. And then on the hover, I'm just going to change these. So this text color, I'm going to leave it as white. And this pointer type, I'm going to give it a sort of off red. So it doesn't interfere with the glow too much. This orangey thing is fine. You can make this whatever color you want. This is completely your taste. Okay, so we have everything we need. We're just going to change a couple of settings for mobile. And then we're going to add the code. Now, if you can go into mobile, obviously you're not going to see what's happening exactly over here. It will come very clear when the code comes in. So you don't have to worry that this is how it's going to look forever. While we're in mobile, I'm going to click on the header. I'm going to go into layout. And I'm going to make sure that it's 100% full width over here is in a percentage just like that and then i'm going to click on the container for the image i'm going to put this to percentages and i am going to put this to a about 25 percent then for the navigation one i'm going to do the same thing go over to percentage and put this down to say about a 60 but over here i do want it to go all the way to the right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on advanced and then under size, I'm just going to say grow. And then I'll just push it right down to the end of the page. And that's fine there. Okay, now for the good stuff. In the description of this video, there's going to be a link that's going to have a reference page with all the code that you're going to need for this. It's two different uh, copy pastes. And then we are done with this. So here's that page over here. If we scroll down here, you can see those CSS class names if you want to get the spelling right. And then we are just going to take these codes over here and we're just going to put them into place and we're pretty much done. The very first one over here, it says the following code goes into the header container. So we're going to go to right hand side, say copy. We're going to go back into editor. We're going to click on the header under advanced. We go down to the custom CSS and we just paste this there. So you can already see this thing starting to change. So now if we go over to the reference page again, we're going to go and grab the second code. So underneath our navigation header, we're just going to add an HTML widget. So we just go search for the HTML. Click and drag it across and we can let go. Now in this HTML widget, we're going to go and paste that second code. And that's it. We're done. So now once we click publish, you can add a condition over here to save for your entire site. So if we save and close, obviously I have another header over here. So it's going to be a little conflict. If you do have another header, just remove its conditions. Everything should be fine there. So now if I click save and close, and if I go check this in the front end, see so here's that navigation header. You can see how the effect is actually starting to work. But I do have to change a couple of things over here because it's not exactly perfect. So my logo is a bit too stretched out and it is still just a little bit too light because I do want to have the white text. So if I go back over here into the editor, I'm just going to make it into desktop view. I'm going to click on this image over here under style of the object fit. I'm going to change this to contain and then the background color if I wanted it to be a little bit darker. I know that it's going to be in the content. Over here is that color that we had. I was going to set this just a little bit darker, but I'm going to keep the transparency. And then not to forget that I have to change the behavior as well. Because if we don't, and I just publish it like this, let me show you what's going to happen. You can see that that's the color now, but as I go in, it goes lighter. So we have to keep the colors the same. Actually, I want this just a little bit more darker. Yeah, that's fine. Copy it over into the hover so it stays the same and publish. Now you can see how this thing is starting to shape up. Now, if you don't want this red and you want it to be something else, just remember, we go over to the glow here under style. We can change the color to that to whatever. 
So let's say we wanted to go with a green and we click publish. Now, if I hover, you can see that it's green. Obviously, we have to change this underlying effect over here, but there we go. So great header really think that you guys should give this one a try especially on a colorful website this thing will be amazing if you want it to be darker there's no problem at all as well so over here under the content remember this background color we can change this to anything so we can really crank it down and we can also make it a lot more darker like that the more solid the color the less the glow is going to be if i copy this over to hover and i publish you can see there's a much darker header and you can see the glow is still working pretty nice and you can see how the border itself is also working nice. Now, if you want it to be a different color completely, we can go into the header and we can start setting colors there, but do make it as transparent as possible. So over here, if you just wanted to give it a slight little bit of tone, just make sure that it's transparent and we click publish. You can see that there's just a hint of that border there. And it really comes into play when the glow comes over it. If you don't want that border, remember that in this header container, in the advanced, we can just take out the padding there and then border won't be there anymore. I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing as well. That stuff makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. If you have any suggestions or anything, then just put a comment down below. Let me see what I can do. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.